Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So in this video, I want to talk about removing grain from your video in After Effects without using any plugins like Red Giant's Denoiser or uh, Neat Video. So basically, if you have a shot that you would like to clean up, what you can do is bring your clip into After Effects and then go up to Effect, Noise and Grain, Remove Grain. And as you can see here, you get a little box here that shows you a little sample. But uh, what's great about this effect is that it is free, it comes with After Effects, and uh, basically it is really powerful. I'm surprised a lot of people don't talk about this effect. And so that's why I'm doing it. So basically if you go to viewing mode here and we set it to final output, you'll see that pretty much a lot of this grain just got punched out. So let me zoom in here a little bit so you guys can kind of see. So this was a little bit before, as you can see, we got all this little you know, artifacts and grain going on here. And it doesn't really look pretty. But if I go ahead and turn the effect back on, as you can see, it does a pretty good job of smoothing it out and cleaning it up. And, you know, for this shot, it, it worked out pretty well, and I didn't have to touch any settings. You know, I wouldn't really go as far as touching this anymore, but maybe what I would do is I would go to noise reduction settings and maybe, you know, test it out, maybe set it to 2 and see, you know, if it reduces it anymore and if that looks good. Um, and of course, one thing I keep in mind of is like the, your main, uh, the main objects in your shot, you know, can, can kind of get smoothed out. So, uh, we'll talk about that, about that in another clip. So, um, that's basically how you can kind of smooth things off right off the start. But let's talk about some issues that can, uh, come about with this effect. So here's the, uh, the uh, shot with all of its grain, its original shot here. And you see it looks kind of messy. It's not clean, a lot of grain and... You know, we, got, we can fix that up. So let me go ahead and just reset the effect here. And as you see, we got the little box here. Let me go ahead and set it right to final output. And as you can see, it didn't really do anything. You know, the effect is not doing that much. Um, if we set up to two, yeah, maybe we'll get a little bit of results um, if it renders here. Okay, and you know, it did kind of do a good job there. And let me go ahead and maybe set to three real fast. And as you can see, our actress is getting kind of smoothed out. And here's like a before and after. So as you can see, she's nice and sharp here. And then with the effect, you know, she's kind of smooth. So there's a few things that's going on in this clip. So let me go ahead and set the noise reduction back to one. And uh, there's a few things we're going to do in here to kind of, you know, kind of clean this up and kind of keep our actor sharp while we're removing some grain. So what we'll do is we'll go to uh, the viewing mode and set it to noise samples. And then under the sampling tab right here, uh, we're going to go ahead and set the sample selection to manual. And we're going to set the number of samples to three or as many as you want, but three is good enough for me. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that the effect is selected and I'm going to kind of like zoom in here or I'm going to go ahead and kind of click this point and we're going to drag our box like over here. Maybe we'll drag a box up here and then maybe, you know, we'll go ahead and put another box down here. So basically you kind of want to get the box where the majority of your grains at and usually you want to keep it away from you know, like your actor, your object. So basically this is where the remove grain effect is going to sample your grain in your footage. And what we'll do is go under sample size. We'll go ahead and like increase that by a little bit. And maybe we'll just go to 256. And yeah, maybe not. So now we have three places to sample our grain. And what we do is go right back to final output and kind of see the results of this shot. All right. And for the most part, it didn't really do that much, but let's go ahead and put this back to three real fast. And it did a pretty good job of cleaning it up, um, and she's still, uh, our actress is still kind of sharp. She did lose a little bit of, you know, sharpness to her, but we can go ahead and continue to uh, make this even better. Maybe what I'll do is go back to sampling and set it to maybe number of samples and set it to four. And maybe what I'll do is I'll add another sample, like right here in this box, move our new sample down here, and see what happens. And that kind of helped just a little bit, but this is extra sampling to have here. And what we can do is, you know, since there's some like grain in her face here, what we can do is go to the chroma suppression and maybe set that to two. And that'll kind of help with, you know, the grain in the kind of colored areas, um, maybe three or so. But you got to be very careful of this because you never know. You don't want to smooth out too much. So then what we can do is where it says clean solid areas, maybe we'll set that to one. And this is really going to start punching some things out. And actually things look very flat and very like, uh, you know, very not sharp. So what we'll do now is go to the texture here and we'll set that to like two. And that will bring all that sharpness back and we should have a, a pretty clean image. So let's go ahead and do a little before. So it looks pretty good. Maybe I'll set the clean solid to maybe 0.5 just to kind of help 
you know, continuing to adjust this. It's just a lot of trial and error to make this work. And for the most part, you know, that looks, you know, pretty good. I mean, we definitely removed a lot of the grain from this image and it kind of looks, you know, a little bit more smooth and cleaner. And you gotta be very careful using this effect because you obviously can smooth out your image so much where you kind of make it unusable. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And you know, don't you don't always have to like clean up the image completely. You know, having a little bit of grain can be pretty good. So, all right. So here's another shot, and you know, it's really sharp. You know, especially in the focused area here on our actress. And it, but if we zoom in, you know, you can see a little bit of grain here. But that, to me, that's not a big deal. I wouldn't even bother putting a remove grain effect on this shot. But just for the tutorial, I just want to go ahead and maybe do another one. So what we'll do is go right to the final output. And, you know, right off the start, you're going to see that her face is going to get completely smoothed and it looks pretty bad. I mean, of course, you could say, oh, hey, I can make my actress, you know, look, you know, younger or something like that. But honestly, you know, that's not a good argument. It doesn't look good. So, uh, you know, what we can do here is maybe we set the noise reduction to like 0.2. And automatically, that's going to make everything a little bit sharper. But it doesn't completely remove as much grain but it's very subtle. So that's one thing you can keep in mind when you're using this effect, that you don't always have to punch everything out, but you can keep it very subtle. Maybe we'll do like 0.4. So for the most part, yeah, see, she, she still is pretty sharp, but we zoom in here and we do like a quick before and after. I can see it gets a little bit cleaner. It's still, you know, not perfect, but it's pretty good. And the shot, you know, you could say does look better because there's less grain in the background. Like I said, of course, I wouldn't have done this for the shot, but I just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to do a lot with this effect. You, know, you can just drop it in, set the final output, and just change the noise reduction just by a little bit, like 0 0.4, 0 0.2, and it's gonna look beautiful. So, so I know we didn't go through every parameter in here, like the uh, filtering here. I would never use that. Um, the unsharp mask that's to basically sharpen up your image. You know, I think it's a little bit redundant with the texture filter here, um, and blending with original. You know, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, if you want to just you know dial down the effect you know of course you can just go through here and work on that but for the most part you know if you guys have any questions please drop a comment down below or hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the description of this video and if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like it helps me out tremendously and lets me know if i'm doing a good job for these videos and if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this for after effects and filmmaking so guys thank you so much for watching this video and as always hopefully i'll see you soon